Hi guys, my name is Ozzy. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your very first time, you're welcome. This is a channel I created for sharing my experience on applying for a green card under the EB2 NIW category. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button. And if you'd like to get a notification every time I post a video, please click on the bell sign. Today I'll be telling you all about the medical checks required for applying for your green card. So some medical checks are required before you get your green card. And the form for this medical check is the form I-693. Certain doctors designated by the USCIS can conduct these medical checks. And what they're checking for essentially is they're checking for any communicable diseases that would make you inadmissible to the United States. When we submitted the form I-485, which is a petition to adjust our status from student visa to a green card, we also simultaneously submitted a form 6 nine three now this is a form that is the form showing evidence of medical examination by a civil surgeon and also showing evidence of our vaccination records so the very first thing that we did was that we went to uscis website to search for doctors that have been designated by uscis to conduct these checks these medical checks so we went on uscis website and we put in our zip code and it pretty much brought a list of all the doctors around us who could conduct these examinations i basically chose a doctor who was close to close enough to my job so that i could just go in and then after the examination i could go ahead and go back to work that's pretty much how i chose the doctor that i went with so it wasn't really much of a rocket science or i didn't google any reviews or anything i just looked for a doctor who was close enough to my job so that after the checks we could you know i could go back to work and then my husband could go back to his job as well that was the very first thing that i did we googled the doctor and we chose the doctor to use next thing we made, we called them up and made an appointment we wanted to find out how much it would cost to do the medical checks so at the time that we made the appointment for the medical checks it was 270 dollars each for the examinations and so we made an appointment and for medical checks i like to go on fridays i don't know i just feel like fridays is the end of the week i can do whatever medical checks and then it'll be the weekend so i don't know for some reason i like to go to the doctors on fridays so we made the appointment my husband and i we went over there now when you're going over there you want to take some documents with you you want to take i think i went with two passport photographs medical uh, insurance card most of the tests are not covered by my insurance we're not covered by my insurance so i ended up paying out of pocket anyway but you also want to end up taking your insurance card just in case you know the coverage that you have covers stuff like that so we went we met uh, with the insurance card we went with our vaccination records because it is required that you take some vaccines and if you've already taken them in the past then you don't have to take them again right so yeah we took our vaccination records we also took the fee for the exam right so in our case the fee cost $270 each so you can pay using your debit card and I took that as well you want to print out your latest version of the form I-693 because that's the form that the civil surgeon is going to go ahead and put your results in now the first part of that form is for you the applicant to fill out so you want to fill out your name you want to fill out your date of birth things like that that's the very first part of the form and you you know date that and then when you give that to your civil surgeon he will go ahead and put results of your test in there and that way when your test is ready you can always go back and receive it the medical check doesn't happen in one day so the very first day you go you're going to do a few tests and a few blood tests it's going to be a blood draw and then in about three days time you come back to the to doctor's office and by that time he'll have the results of your test now there's no hidden thing here the doctor will actually fully discuss your results with you so he'll go over the results with you so the doctor will go ahead and sign the form i693 in your presence and after he signs it he will seal the form and he will give you the sealed form now the form that is sealed will look like this you seal it and give it to you and then this is what you now mail to with your application package to USCIS you mail this uh, medical check sealed so you don't open it after the doctor has signed and sealed it and then um, he probably will write your name on it and he'll write for USCIS only something like that but yeah the doctor will go ahead and sign and seal this form this is what you attach to your form C i485 application and you turn that in so let's talk about a few of the checks what is a doctor looking for basically when you go to the doctor's office what is he looking for well he's looking for stuff like um, communicable diseases like syphilis gonorrhea he's looking for tuberculosis he's looking for 
um, leprosy, those kind of diseases that were, that would potentially be um, public health concerns for the citizens of the United States. They don't want people to bring in those diseases. So the other thing that the doctor looks uh, for is evidence of drug abuse, looks for mental health disorder. So he'll probably talk to you, ask you some simple questions, you know, ask you how you're doing, how your job is going. These are not random questions. The doctor just wants to get a feel for your mental health status. And so that's something that the doctor would you know talk to you about other things are they look at your vaccination records they want to see records for mmr uh whooping cough things like that those are what they're looking for in your vaccination records now don't worry if you bring your vaccination records and you haven't taken some shots the doctor will probably recommend um shots that you need to take to complete the process so records for like chicken pox mmr whooping cough influenza uh, hepatitis these are some of the things that they looked at in my vaccination records you want to make sure that you do this medical check as close as possible to the time that you're putting your application in because you want to turn in this application no less than 60 days after the doctor has signed on the document so you don't want to hold on to this document for too long make sure that the doctor signs everything is correct before the doctor signs he will go through everything with you make sure that your name is spelled correctly make sure that there are no you know, like silly errors like um, misspelling of addresses or names or date of birth things like that and then after you have certified that everything is in order the doctor is going to go ahead and sign and seal it and then you want to make sure that within 60 days after the doctor has uh, signed the form i 693 that you turn this form in make sure that you turn this form in as soon as possible this form is valid for at least one year like from the time that you submitted to uscis so you want to make sure that you're doing your medical checks as close as possible to the time that you're submitting your application right so i hope this was really helpful you know i hope now that you know what the medical check is about it's just the process of you going over there paying a fee and then a civil surgeon so it's not any doctor that's allowed to do this there are civil surgeons that are designated by uscis so if you're outside the u.s and you need to do this medical check it will be a panel physician designated by the department of state and then you'll be able to go to these physicians and they'll do these checks for you the important thing to note is that you must do this test closest to the time that you're putting your application you can turn in this test with your form i-45 when you're applying to adjust your status to permanent resident status or you can bring the test along with you when you're when it's time for your interview because if you haven't submitted the test before your interview they're going to ask you for your test on the day of the interview so you want to bring in the test at these times all right so i hope i've been able to clear a little bit of your doubts about the whole medical process um, they're basically looking for any communicable diseases that will be public health concerns for the united states and they're also checking to make sure that you've taken your vaccines vaccines like influenza vaccine um like whooping cough mmr things like that varicella uh for chicken box yeah so these are the things that they check during the medical uh examination also they also look at your mental health stability as well as any evidence of drug abuse things like that those are the things that they report in the medical check the medical check is just one of the many things that you need to do when you're applying for your green card so now i've put together a free ebook that will help you um, get your green card application off the ground. If you'd like to download that free ebook that tells you how to file for your green card, the steps involved in filing, go ahead and look for the link to the free ebook in the description below. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you have questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. If you'd like to check out my podcast, please check for the Tales of an African Princess in America podcast wherever you get your podcast from. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.